At the start of most projects, it's very likely that you'll start by drawing your exterior walls. At least that'll be the first thing that you model inside of your project. Now, in order to be able to accomplish that, you need to come into your first floor plan and then come up here to walls underneath the home tab. Now, by selecting on that, you'll have a pull-down list here that's called your type selector list. And you'll see that there's a wide variety of different kinds of walls that we can choose from. In this case, we're doing a residential design. Because we're doing a residential design, there's going to be a lot of brick and siding and that kind of construction. Depending on your area of the country, you might have different things, maybe adobe or different kinds of construction that are available to you. But in, in this case, we're going to go with something very common. It's just going to be siding on for our exterior walls. And uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select on the exterior siding wall. Now, this is just your typical 2x4 construction. In order to be able to see that, if I select on the Edit Type button here, I can then come up here and select on Edit right next to the word Structure. And we can see each layer of material that's available to us. In this case, I was saying that this is a 2x4 wall, and this says this is 3 and a half inches thick. And that is true because your typical 2x4, once it goes through the milling process, um, ends up getting down to about 3 and a half inches by 1 and a half inches in size. So it's not actually 2x4, or something just a little bit smaller. And you can see here, whether it's the siding or the sheathing or whatever the case may be, each material inside of this wall has its own real-life thickness associated with it. In reality, this wall is a total of 5 inches thick, but we're still going to call it, at least I'll probably still call it, a 2x4 wall because that's really the terminology for it. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll select OK again. And it's an exterior siding wall. I'm going to begin by actually coming up here to where it has this location line. And I want to make sure that this isn't to the finished face exterior. I'm going to draw this to the core face of the exterior. Also, we need to check on a few other settings first. One is, is that the base constraint of it is going to be on the first floor. And what that means is that the wall, the bottom of the wall, the base of the wall, is going to be drawn from level one, the first floor. Well, in this case, it's saying it's trying to give us a base offset of eight foot, and that's just not right. So I just want to say that it's zero feet to zero inches off of the top of the floor. The next thing, I need to know what the height of this wall is going to be. You can see right now it's saying that there's an unconnected height associated with it, and that's not right because in this case it would have made the wall nine foot tall, and that's not exactly what I want. I want it to come up to, up to level, top, and that's the top of plate. And the, the plate is the boards that run along the top of the wall. Finally, this wall is something a little bit special, and that is, is that it has siding going down the outside edge of it. And I'd like that siding to do a couple of different things for me. One, I'd like it to hide the structural members of the floor so that when we build this house up, we can't see the boards on the outside of the building that make up the outside edges of the floor. We need something to cover that up, and in this case, it's going to be the siding. Also, the siding is going to cover a little bit of the foundation wall, which is just going to achieve part of the look that we want to accomplish. Now, in order to do that, we need to adjust the base extension of the wall. And in this case, I'm going to make it be one foot eight inches. Now, that's going to bring the siding on that wall down one foot eight inches below where the structural members of the floor are currently drawn at. And we'll see that here in just a minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and start drawing these floors in. I'm going to move my cursor just somewhere in here. I, this is probably a good spot. I'm going to click once. You'll see as I move down, that's drawing the wall straight down. That blue dashed line that shows up there, that's on the core face, which means it's on the outside edge of the uh, two by four walls, the actual structural members that hold this wall up. So I'm going to come down, and we're going to go down 10 feet. So you just type in the numbers 10 foot. Next, I'm going to move over to the left. I'm going to type in 16 foot. You can see how it's automatically cleaning these walls up at the corners. I'm going to come up 46 feet now with this wall. I'll move over 36 feet for this wall. I'll move down 33 feet 8 inches. Now, we have something special going on here at this intersection and where this wall is going to be at. This, instead of being a siding wall, is going to be a wall with brick. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit the Escape key on my keyboard just once. That still keeps me in the Wall command, but it allows me to change to an exterior brick style of wall. 
Now, this is still built with 2x4s, but it now has brick on the outside instead of siding. And, of course, a brick is much thicker than siding. So when we start to draw this wall in, we'll see that this wall is going to look thicker than the wall that we were just drawing. Now, I want to pick this spot in particular because this is on the actual structural face of the siding wall. And we want that to line up with the same materials that are inside of the brick wall. Now, I'm going to zoom out. And this should come down 2 feet 4 inches. Now, if I've done everything right, I should be able to type in 20 feet here and have it automatically clean up here at the intersection. And if I hit Escape key a couple of times to get out of the command, you'll see, in fact, it has cleaned itself up appropriately here at the intersection of these walls. If we take a look at this in a 3D view now, we can see all the walls have been drawn in here on the outside. You'll also see this line that's going on here. And what's actually happening is that this wall is thicker in this part of the wall down here. This is that extension that we put in uh, toward the start of the exercise. This is that negative one foot eight inches base extension where the siding is coming down to this point right here. So they can overlap the floor materials as well as the a little bit of the foundation wall down below. By using these steps, you'll be a success in placing the exterior walls in any of your Revit projects.